The weasel sighed. He was just so... bored. Since the last failed attempt to buy his smuggling services, not much had happened in the small town of Crowwater. He was desperate for some entertainment. Tied to a tree in the abandoned church's graveyard was... The weasel thought for a moment. Smiling, he realised he had no idea who this person was that he had bound and gagged. Didn't matter, they were his entertainment. A dagger flew from his hand and his absent-mindedness skewed his throw. Muffled screams <coughs> sprung from the bound man momentarily just before he died. The weasel's dagger sticking from his eye socket. Oops, he said. His beefy silent companion looked at him as if to imply, what did you do that for? The game was now finished prematurely. It was an accident. At least you win this time. The weasel shrugged. The gold coin in his pocket warmed and he held a hand up to his companion to grab his attention. The companion's sausage-sized fingers went to the weapon on his hip as the weasel reached into his coat to extract a new dagger. You can step out of the shadows, the weasel called to whoever it was practicing magic in the area. Manus magic, he mused. He had no art for it himself, but knew of people that could manipulate light and shadow. A young man revealed himself. Hang on, not that young. This man's eyes held trauma seen like a scar across the flesh. He placed his dagger back into his lapel. Neat trick, the new man said. He was of course referring to the weasel detecting his presence. The man moved sideways across the graveyard, not retreating, not advancing. He did so silently, the weasel noticed, not leaving a stick of wood or blade of grass out of place. I hear you're the man that can smuggle an egg from a wyvern's nest, the man continued. He was not looking directly at the weasel or his companion anymore, but was looking over the ravished graves. Not many of them were sealed, and the ones that were had nothing of value for the effort of exhuming the bodies. You don't need a smuggler, the weasel said. No, I don't need one, but I know someone who does, or needs some papers at least. The weasel tilted his head. Not often someone approached him about being smuggled into Braston. It happened from time to time, but mainly he saw to it that people could escape the country. That is, if they had something interesting to offer in return. Now, getting someone into Braston was already fascinating. A skilled Manus user who could literally walk in the shadows made it even more so. The weasel was careful not to allow his curiosity to touch his face. He indicated to his companion that they could let go of their weapon. At least two magic users into Braston, with papers, for a reason to be there. Not easy. I've heard you prefer not easy. The weasel smiled at this. He also noted that the man had not even glanced at the corpse tied to the tree. This man had seen some brutality for sure. The weasel decided to test this. He went over to the body and extracted the dagger. The eyeball came with it. He flicked the dagger to allow the eye to remove itself. It hit the ground with a little squelch. The weasel looked over to the new man while absent-mindedly cleaning his dagger with a rag. Removing blood from his blade was something he had done a thousand times before and it required little to none of his attention. As he watched the new man, he was again intrigued. He still had not looked at the body on the tree, had not even stolen a peek at the eyeball on the ground, but was intently focused on how the dagger in the weasel's hand was being cleaned. The weasel couldn't contain another little smirk from sneaking onto his lips. He knew when he was being sized up. The weasel cared not if he passed the assessment, but it was nice to encounter someone who could garner information so subtly. He had to respect the man for that. What makes you think I'd be interested? I've more experience at getting people out, not in. Precisely because it's to get people in. You prefer not easy, the new man repeated. Your offer in return? The weasel asked. 
The man held his hands out, palms up. In a moment, a small axe appeared in it. It was not a threatening move, but the weasel threw his hand up to sign for his companion, who was not as attuned to the subtleties of movement and would see the appearance of a weapon as an immediate threat. Even from this distance, the weasel could see the rune glow slightly as it appeared. That gold coin of yours, the new man started. The weasel instinctively reached for his pocket despite himself. The man must have seen him in the tavern the other night. The coin was still there. He composed himself, realizing he had shown some of his cards. I can give you answers, the new man said. The weasel was eager to know more about the runes written on his gold coin. All he knew was that it would heat up when magic was being used nearby. He had taken it off a high-ranking Braston official. The weasel figured the man didn't need it anymore after his companion had killed the officer. Not here, you can't, the weasel said. I'll meet you at the inn tomorrow. You have me at a disadvantage, however. You obviously know who I am, or you would not have sought me out. Who will I say I'm calling on? I am Rel, the waster, the new man said as he disappeared into shadows that didn't even exist. The weasel felt the coin warm in his pocket again as he turned to his silent companion. Well, my friend, I'm no longer bored. <laughs>